hello. Um, taking forever to make this video as usual. I'm just slow with this whole video recording. Anyway, um, this is the look. I'm kind of upset because I guess the lighting is bad. I usually do my videos early in the morning and it's kind of not early in the morning right now. And um, yeah, so you can't really see how pigmented it is, but I posted a picture, so yeah, yeah, so how damn it is. But anyway, um, it's just basically brown, um, orange, and um, like a frosty, shimmery white, and a shimmery gold as a highlight. And I call this my little tropical look. So yeah, let's get started because I have a lot of time. Oh, and I didn't apply false eyelashes. I'm actually going to start making like parts, like a part one, part two, part three of this tutorial if I don't have enough time. And for the part two, I'm going to show you guys how to I apply my false eyelashes. But yeah, let me shut up and let me start. Hopefully the camera is focused and hopefully I don't say um a lot because I'm so like, I'm just stop talking. Talk too much. But yeah, let's get started. Um, prime your eyes. Sorry, I didn't get mine. Um, I usually use Urban Decay's Prime Potion, but um, right now, for the sake of this video, I'm using Elf Mineral Elf Mineral Primer, and just put that all on your eye. Just like that, and blend it in. Um, there's a mirror here, by the way. If you guys are wondering, like, what the hell am I looking at? Looking at it's a mirror. So yeah, I'm getting more comfortable with talking to a laptop. Really, wow. Anyway, next I'm gonna apply the no no. Sorry. I'm gonna apply. Oh my god, I had everything ready and I was done. All right, sorry. Um, I'm gonna apply the NYX Jumbo Pencil again, but this one is not milk. This one's actually, you can't, I don't know why my camera doesn't focus, but anyway, it's actually, whatever. NYX Jumbo Pencil in Cottage Cheese, that's the name of it, and it's like um, a shimmery white, I don't know if you guys can see that, yeah. It's like a shimmery white, and we're just gonna apply it in the inner corner of our eye. Just right here. Just like that. And it looks crazy now, but we're gonna pick that up later. Oh so yeah. You can bring it into your eyelid a little bit. So yeah, that's it. Then leave that alone. Now one of my little tricks, I use Visine to make the, the eyeshadow, the orange eyeshadow pop. And another tutorial, I'll show you how to do that. Right now, I don't have time, so yeah. So I just take a dot of Visine on my hand, and yeah. Oh, I didn't even tell you what orange I'm using. I'm using the 180 palette. I always forget. So yeah, I'm using this green, I mean green, hold on, hold on. this orange right here, yeah, that orange, the orange orange, it's like a, a burnt color, like a burnt orange, it's really, really good, so yeah, just place that all over the lid, And make sure you pat and not swipe. Because if you swipe, then you're going to have fallout all over your eye. And it's not fun. It's not fun getting orange pigment um, from underneath your um, eyelid. I'm saying I'm a lot. Okay. So, yeah, so don't, go, don't go over your crease yet. Just place it all on your lid into the white, into the cottage cheese. <laughs> 
so funny, but yeah. This is a cottage cheese. Just keep doing that. And now. I'm going to do it enough so it's really vibrant. It looks really vibrant here, but it's not as vibrant as I want it. And then, after you place it on your lid, just start blending it. Blending the edges. I really want to be straight so you guys can see me, but I can't. So I apologize, but yeah. So as you can see, I'm just putting the orange all over my eye and then blending it upwards like this, just a little bit. And my visees. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so. Keep on placing that over this. And I think I fixed my microphone, so hopefully you guys can hear me like 10 times better. And I'm speaking up louder. Well, I'm kind of shy. I don't know. When you guys do a video in front of the laptop, you understand. It's kind of weird talking to nothing. So, yeah. So, yeah. Just try that over your lid. I'm only taking so long because I want to get that real bright, bright orange. So, yeah. When I get a better program, I'm going to start um, putting music and stuff in my videos so you guys won't have to be bored while I'm applying stuff on my eyeballs. Um, let's see. I know it's boring. I've watched tutorials and I think people make it. When I make fun of I'm like, oh, Jesus, tell me not. But anyways, yeah. So after you've got a good amount, you start dragging it up like this, Ooh, not like that, sorry, like this, a little bit over the crease, not too much, so just like that, it's fine, so after you've done that, you got to take a blending brush, I mentioned in my other video about this brush, I got this brush on 125th Street in a spa, um, I think it's called Shade, whatever, but yeah, that's where I got it from. And I'm already running out of time just because I talk too much. Jesus. Anyways, my hand is so crazy. That was nice. So, yeah. Now we're going to use the gold color for the highlight and for the crease. And the gold I'm using is actually gone, as you can see. It's pretty much gone, but I, I use a mixture of this one and this one. So I just swirl it around, get some on my brush, make sure you tap off the access, and then just place it right above the orange, right above. So yeah. You might need more, you might not, depending how much you put on your brush. Hopefully you didn't dunk it in yellow and go with crazy. But yeah. So you put it over, 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 over. And now you blend it in the orange. A little bit, not too much. Just to soften out the orange. And bring it inside here, inside your inner corner. And yeah, so blend it. Then take a little bit more and, and move up. And what you want to do is drag it all the way to the top, like underneath your eyebrow type of thing. 
you kind of want a little bit more like when you place it up here it should be like a sheer kind of gold not so much but when you're dry, when you're putting it under your eyebrow since it's your highlight you want to add a little bit oops you want to add a little bit more color that makes sense Oopsie. so there you go so as you can see it's not as vibrant as this uh but yeah i do weird things sound like i don't know why My girlfriend's probably watching this thing. Why do you act like that? Mm. But anyway, um, yeah. So after you do that, wipe off your brush, obviously, because we will be using this color again. And what you want to do is, oh my god, I only got five minutes. What the heck? I need to stop talking, please. All right. I'm using the Urban Decay palette. Um. I don't know which palette it is because they have a couple of them and I don't know the name of this palette but anyway I'm going to use this brown color Smog, it's called Smog just dump it in there and I'm going to place this in my crease just in the crease first so just place it in the crease And after you place it in the crease, now you drag it a little bit upwards. Get the shape you want. Juicy. Okay. So yeah, keep doing that until you get it how you want it, basically. I really like this look. I wish you guys could really see it, have a look in person, but whatever. Um, yeah, so keep doing that, obviously, until you get the same effect on both eyes. Then drag it. You see how mine is blended to right here? Make sure you drag it the same way. Don't drag this eye all the way into the other corner and then have this one halfway. Then you look ridiculous. So. I really wish I had music, but whatever. So I'm gonna keep doing that until I get the look I want, the shape I want, etc., etc. Oh yeah, if you guys ever see, I'm just going to talk while I'm doing this because it's taking a while. If you guys ever see like a look that you want me to do or something like that, don't be afraid to send me the picture and ask me to do that tutorial because I have absolutely no problem doing it. This is not a problem. So just send me whatever picture or whatever look you're interested in and um, I'll do a tutorial on it. Or, um, if you want me to do something like, I don't know, this, this is about to cut off, so it's definitely going to be a part two, because I talk too much, I really said this, I even talk too much about talking too much, <laughs> but yeah, send me a video, and I'll be more than half, I mean a video, a picture, and I'll do it, and I'll do it, do it, do it. So, as you can see, this one is not as sharp as this one, but I'm going to fix that up right now. Before my time runs out, to get that sharp edge, I just use a uh, angled brush, which is nowhere to be found. Oh, I got it. I just use an angled brush like this. Dump it in that brown and just 
make the V shape myself. 